Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper right hand corner, we have Bonbon bon starting as the pink Protoss. Bottom left hand corner, we have Gosifer starting as the, I want to call that Peach. Peach Protoss. And just to let you guys, it was a chaotic round of 16. There were replays all over the place. We have full replays for the round of eight. Thank goodness. And we've got a pretty good set of players. So we saw Bonbon bon for the first time, and he looks like he's going to be a strong Protoss contender. A lot of Protoss in this grouping. Next group over, we have Dulife versus Fisheye. We have Sabbath versus, versus XTO after that, and Doodle versus Advil. So odds are looking strong. We're potentially going to see another another Protoss champion because you got Fisheye, who I think is my lead favorite. So, but if he's playing in form to take this season of Hasu League, you've got Doodle, though, who could definitely do it. You got these two guys, Gosefer, a strong Protoss player. We'll see if he... I'm going to favor him a little bit here versus Bonbon. Bon. But then I guess you have the Terran Hopes in Do Life XTO and Advil. What is conspicuously missing is any Zerg. So it doesn't look like all the Zerg got bounced. I don't know if that's just like this level of MMR or if all of the Zerg players... I saw Urbmon actually went really, really deep and I want to check out those games up in... He's just playing at another level, it looks like. Up in Gosu League and that is incredible. Friend of... The channel, go check him out and follow him if you have not. I hope he actually picks up and starts playing here. Anyway, it looks like we are seeing a... This is on Vermeer. Gateway first build for both players. It is a four-player map. Still no gas, so it looks like we are going to see a two-gate from Bonbon, bon, which is unfortunate. And it looks like it is going to be an 11-12 gate as well, so the slower version. And he is not going to get a lot out of this for a multitude of reasons. I'm a little shocked that he's going with a two-gate build on a four-player map like this. Specifically Vermeer, because Vermeer is huge. And the distances between spawns is absolutely enormous. Maybe he's going for that surprise factor. But he's going to be even in further trouble, because first of all, he's going to get scouted. And secondarily, he's at cross positions. And I actually believe that with this, Gosefer might even be able to, depending on how he... How he opts to play this, I think he could honestly go into just 2 gate Robo or something like that as a standard build order to defend just because of how far the positions are. And it looks like we are seeing an initial three Zealots. I actually would, if I was Gosefer, I might think about a gas steal here. It looks like that probe going to get stuck behind the line, a pylon drop near the rear. Need to be careful about this because I believe... With a forge built sometimes i don't this would be a risky actually no this would be the perfect situation to do it run back up put your own pylon down and get your a forge up on your side of the map looks like bon, bon now finally scouting go, uh, scouting gosifer goes for going ahead and getting range he's got his first dragoon and you can see he's not even rushed to get his second gateway down it's going to take a long time for those three results to make their way across now the assimilator has been grabbed but yeah i almost feel like a gas deal a pylon seal and then a forge in base would have been hilarious to watch at this stage. I guess there were already three Zealots on location, though, to take down Pylon, so it would have been an old factor altogether. Dragoon wandering out, going to go ahead and try to poke uh, right there. Still no second gate for Gosefer. Now I actually wonder if he's playing this a little bit greedy. Maybe he re maybe because of the recognition of no two additional Zealots pressing out in the front. So the Dragoon wandering out, assailing these Zealots. A little bit delayed behind. There is one Zealot blockading the ramp. A second Dragoon is out. And it looks like, yeah, Gosefer knows better than me. He's going to be able to hold this. But the Zealot's able to sneak right past. Not able to blockade the ramp perfectly well. So it's going to be three on one on the ramp. They're going to be able to get through. Let's see if they can get any pro kills out of this. One Zealot a little bit weak. Two Zealots actually pretty weak. But if they make a beeline, they still might be able to get a probe or two. One of them splitting off at just a sliver of health. Let's see if the probe just taps that one to clean it up. The Dragoons look like they can go ahead and clean up that final Zealot. And it looks like that probe is able to get some precious gas kill right there. Oh, I just want to see the probes turn around and fight, because if they do, might have been able to steal kill for these Dragoons, but the Dragoon's able to clean that up. Actually, this Dragoon's stealing all of it. Hogging every single kill. Second gateway now plopping down. A Little bit of gas disruption. Range is going to finish, however. And Gosefer now in a strong position to go ahead and grab his natural expansion. Bonbon, bon, at the end of everything, because of some micromanagement and other issues, though, is going to end up ahead. Four probes. Five probes now. Although I think goes for, he's going up to three gateways. I was going to say he's maybe in a stronger position to go ahead and grab his natural expansion. 
After a fourth Dragoon, I wouldn't be shocked if he goes ahead and marches across the map. And even though there's cross distance, with that Dragoon range, which is coming out much, much sooner, might be able to assail and tap that front door for a little while. But I'm wondering if he just wants to go ahead and three gate pressure straight into Bonbon as a follow up. Bonbon grabbing his own Nexus. My concern is, is if Gosefer is now going to, as a follow up, just grab three gate Nexus. It's kind of because that will end up setting him economically behind over the long run. He is moving out with those Dragoons. Still making no motions to go. Yeah, I think he just wants to go ahead and try to straight up take out Bonbon. Maybe because of the recognition. However, this is four Dragoons versus four Dragoons. He does have the range advantage. Two of them are damaged. So is that an overall HP disadvantage? But he's got a sliver of time here. Going to leave the cybernetics core whirling where he is going to have a sizable range advantage to go ahead and peck away at this. It's not a huge time differential, though. So right there, and now the Dragoon's going to try to weave out. But yeah, it's just really hard to micro that situation. You can see it's just he's not able to get the best of it. Six Dragoons now peeling down. Gosefer now grabbing his natural expansion <clears throat> way down in the overall probe count. And Bonbon applying pressure might even force a cancellation, although he needs to be a little bit concerned about falling into a trap here, because he's got the six Dragoons and a Zealot trailing, and he might end up pinned between three Dragoons, basically seven Dragoons, uh, and a, a superior attack force, working on that pylon. The Dragoons from the south engaging, focus firing right there, but delayed. And I like that Gosefer was patient with this to allow the damaged Dragoons to not be the target of focus fire as a follow-up, just preserving his attack force. The Dragoons pressing through, they want to try to Get as much done as possible. They're getting wiped out. And now with a clever tactical maneuver, Gosefer all of a sudden with a much superior Dragoon army marching right back across the map. Well played right there. He's significantly down in the probe count, but this is a very exposed natural expansion. Cannons warping in to try to deal with this. Two additional gateways plopping down, but this is going to be three gates. In the meantime, robotics facility coming online. It looks like that natural expansion is up for Gosefer but he's still got a lot of work to do economically. Three cannons hanging out the natural. Grouping of Dragoons here, looking to peek up and do what they can. And yeah, Gosefer going for it. Second cannon down, probes actually coming off the line to try to help defend the Zealots. We're able to briefly get on top of the Dragoons. It looks like that additional cannon is gonna come online, but only for a moment. I was gonna say only for a moment, the Dragoons aren't targeting it going, the probes Trying to mix it up. It looks like they have gotten on the Dragoons proper, but this is also delaying mining time and costing a lot of their lives, which is allowing Gosefer to catch up a little bit. That cannon is going to fall. Two additional Dragoons on the high ground. Now Bonbon needs to worry about survival. Certainly losing the economic lead, but Gosefer just pounding away at this natural expansion, and that I'm going to call GG right there. So Gosefer with a clever tactical maneuver at his natural expansion, doing a beautiful two-pronged attack, and sandwiching in Bon Bon's forces, able to follow it up with an overwhelming amount of Dragoons to take the game. Exciting game one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.